Hey, it's Kathleen Burns Kingsbury here. It is a beautiful night in Vermont. I am sitting on my porch and I am back from Washington, D.C. and FinCon 2019. It was my first FinCon, so I was a newbie, um, but I learned some things I wanted to share with you. One is that I need to talk to my podcast audience a little bit more often. So, just thought I'd give you a heads up that I'm going to be asking for questions and feedback and seeing if I can figure out a way to include you more in the Breaking Money Silence podcast. Certainly, I want you to participate, um, but what I learned at FinCon is I need to be a little bit more purposeful and more direct in my request for you as a listener of Breaking Money Silence to give me your feedback, your input, and ask me your questions. The second thing I learned at FinCon was how many people out there have podcasts and are talking about personal finance. Not just financial advisors, the audience was only 20% advisors. The rest were primarily millennials who are really passionate about teaching personal finance uh, to other people and to their peers and doing it in really interesting new ways online, whether that's blogging, podcasting, setting up online courses, uh, writing articles, freelancing. It was really fascinating to see all the different modalities out there and the passion around financial literacy for the next generation. And the last thing I learned is you are never too old to go to FinCon. I had a great time. I met some wonderful people, including a group of women who will be hosting, uh, or actually, should I say, launching a podcast in the near future. So stay tuned because they're going to be guests of mine. So the takeaways from FinCon. One, ask your opinion more often. Two, there's a lot of people passionate out there, especially millennials, about personal finance and doing it in really creative ways. Three is that you're never too old to learn something new about podcasting, about how to serve all of you better. And so Breaking Money Silence podcast, do me a favor, subscribe, and then also shoot me an email at kbk at breakingmoneysilence.com and let me know what question or what money myth you would like me to bust wide open and I will get right on it. Thanks a lot.